What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today of course we have our Obelisk the Tormentor figure to open up for you guys. This of course is the uh, Kotobukuya box, which I hope I pronounced that correctly. Just like how we have the Sly for the Sky Dragon that's been behind me here, it's actually easier to see if I go this way. <laughs> we have Slifer already. I needed Obelisk. I do plan on getting uh, the Winged Dragon of Raw next, hopefully uh, sooner than later, before this year ends. Because as these get older, I know they're going to be tougher to get. And you guys made me wondering, how did I get this? Well, I got this from using Bai. So check them out, of course, link in the description. Basically, you order stuff from Japan like you live in Japan. And anime statues are much cheaper on there. And that includes for Yu-Gi-Oh! and any anime I've seen. Like, I ordered a Bleach figure that I've never seen over here. And we know that usually stuff from anime doesn't come over here as often. It's gotten better over the years. But Japan always has more stuff on that. You know, whether it's be for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, Bleach, I mean just about anything. So be sure to check them out. Link in the description. But yeah, I thought I would open up the Obelisk the Tormentor box for you guys. Here's a quick look at the box too. I mean, I love our works on this. I'm going to keep this box and everything, obviously, but it just looks amazing. I mean, it is seriously one of the coolest boxes ever, and the Slifer one was too, so I can't wait to see the one for Raw, and of course have all three of them up here next to each other. That's the goal, you know? So let's go on ahead. I'll place the camera over here, and we'll go ahead and start putting it together, because I with Slifer, there was a little bit of assembly, and I'm going to assume there's a little bit with Obelisk as well. All right, now that I think we're pretty well set up, let's go on ahead and uh, get Obelisk out of this box. So it looks like we can actually change the hands for Obelisk, and we're putting on the wings as well. Looks pretty straightforward. The one for Slifer was actually kind of difficult, so I was kind of wondering on this one. Maybe it's just me, but I was trying to be so careful, too. All right, here we go. That's the box. There's that have our wings here, which, dang, look at that, <laughs> those are some wings now, those are cool looking, there's the rest of obelisk right here, have a different hand as well, and here is the stand. Here is Obelisk himself, right there. He's actually very sharp. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think I just cut myself on him. <laughs> the little, like, points that he has on his back and everything are actually sharp. So, be a little bit careful, I guess. There he is. <laughs> I think he's standing on there pretty good. Man, he's just, like, standing on the things. That's basically how it worked. Let's put on these wings. And there we go, we have Obelisk the Tormentor. That is, I guess, basically the assembly. Now, of course, if you want to change out his hand, you can do that. I probably will. I'll, I'll show it here in a second. I'll probably will end up doing that, actually. But, yeah, I mean, that is Obelisk. It looks really amazing here. I'm trying to get it a little bit more focused again. Ignore the, the messy background. I'm sorry. But, yeah, it looks great. I heard that supposedly the first, like, pre-orders and stuff actually had their name on it. Which is something I think it does need. I think that would be cool to have. But instead, I'm thinking I'm probably getting like some god cards that actually just set up in front of each of them. That way it's kind of like they're being summoned out of the cards. I think that'll look cool too. But let me change out the hands so you guys can see what that looks like. And I might keep it that way anyway. There we go. Okay, <laughs> there's the different hands. Not that much different, honestly. I kind of like it though. $200 statue and you're trying to take off his hand to put another one on. That makes you very nervous, let me tell you. All right, and here we go. I put him on a turntable so you guys can actually get a 360 view of Obelisk. I mean, he looks amazing. He's basically one color except for, like, the, the gem that's in his head. That has more of a light blue. He has his red eyes and his white teeth. But other than that, I mean, you wouldn't think a god card, a Yu-Gi-Oh figure that is basically one color would be this detailed. But he has some serious detail. I mean, look at that. Look at all the points on him, too. Like, those are actually sharp. I thought I actually cut my hand on one, especially on, like, his backbone right here. But, no, I didn't bleed, at least, so whatever. But, yeah, he is actually very sharp, so be careful on that. Obviously, this is not for children. This is for adult collectors and stuff. And he doesn't have articulation at all. Like, he's a statue. I don't even think his head doesn't move at all. A little. Okay, we have a little bit of, like, a ball joint there. Everything else, though, he is staying in place, which... For what you're getting, you're getting a really cool statue. I kind of prefer that. These days I've gotten where I prefer more statues and less of like figure arts because I don't have like a good idea to pose them. I'd rather them just have a cool pose, 
and I'm done kind of thing, you know? And it seems like, too, they usually have better detail because of that as well. So uh, at least you get another hand if you want. I mean, obviously, it's not that much of a change. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like, what do you prefer? I kind of like how he has the open hand as well, just to show kind of the detail, at least, you know, how each hand can look. So I'm going to keep it like this. But yeah, I mean, it's my favorite god card. It's Obelisk. I'm very happy to have this, and it looks stunning. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Which one of the three is your favorite so far if you've already seen someone get the Winged Dragon Raw? Because I do think it's out. I just don't have it yet. But I do plan to get it, like I said, within the next couple of months or so. So let me know if, uh, you know, if you guys are looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I will definitely have them all set up and we'll do like another studio tour or something when I get things cleaned up a little bit and have like a really cool setup with the God cards and stuff too. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, all this stuff helps out a lot. Check out Bayi, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.